Welcome back, folks. Today, we're just going to be talking about how to, if you wanted to play on the RU server, how to change the language files so that your inventory and item descriptions and things like that, and menu as well, will be in English. I guess I should probably tell you, first of all, how to get the RU version. What you're going to want to do, you're going to want to go to Expo's website. You're going to go to their games, go to Stallcraft. It's going to do this little check here, verify your human. And then up here, where you see the little world globe right next to your name, you're going to click this and you're going to click Russia. doesn't matter what you choose over here, but click Russia for the region. After you do that, you're going to go to your name, whatever your name may be on the website after you've logged in, and you're going to download the launcher. Now, once you download the launcher and try to run it, there's going to be a, like a frowny face that pops up. When that happens, choose the left option. There's two boxes. There'll be one on the left, one on the right. Click on the left one. If you click the one on the right, it's going to take you like eight hours to download for some reason. So, Click the option on the left once you see the frowny face pop up. So let me exit the Expo launcher real fast. When you try to open it for the first time, it's going to want you to log in. And you can just link your Steam. You don't have to have a new account or anything. And it's going to pop up the menu just like when you do anything else that tries to link to Steam. It's on my opposite monitor over here. I'm not going to actually show that because I don't want everybody knowing my information. But you click the option to say yes, sign in. To steam and then you get this usually this right here is not up this is the test server i'm pretty sure this is new this hadn't popped up before but you'll have this stallcraft right here on top it also shows you how many players there are currently it's like four in the morning over there right now and there's still 2500 players but to change your language files what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to your settings here go up to this top folder you're going to go to mod assets assets scroll down to stalker Scroll down to language and you're going to want to change these two file names around. And since you can't have two things named the same name, what I usually do is I rename the bottom one to RU2. Then I rename the top one to RU. And then you name RU2EN because you're wanting to swap the Russian and the English files so that it thinks the English file is actually the Russian file. That way it has the right language for the menus and things like that. Once you're done here, you're going to look over here in the scroll menu for the other folders. Go to Gloomy Core and do the exact same thing in the language folder here. RU2, RU, and then EN. And once you're done with that, you can close it all out. All this will stay in Cyrillic. You don't change any of that. But when you go into the game, now all of your menu prompts like confirm decline and quit are in english login is in english your gear score and everything like that is all in english faction duty character description and then once you actually log in like all this is in english obviously once you actually log in your quests they're all going to still be in cyrillic so now you can use pretty much your whole little menu here in english all your notifications are going to be in English. Auction house is in English where you can actually search in English for things. So just let's say our artifacts. You can type in mama for mama's beads. Weapons, same thing. If you wanted the, the scar weapon, since they're available in RU, you could just type in scar. Everything is searchable in English. The only thing, like I said earlier, that is going to be still in Cyrillic is kind of a problem is your quests. So how I translate quests, the easiest way I've found to do it is using Windows key shift and S to screen snip. Then you can choose what you want to snip. Do that. Then you go over to Google Translate, click on images here, paste from clipboard, and it's going to paste the very last thing you screen snipped if you do it like this. And make sure you have Russian as the language and English as the destination language. And then it translates pretty well what you're doing here. So then you have the actual quest names and you can do the same thing for the actual quest log here where it tells you what the quest is about. Screen snip that, paste from clipboard. That's a premium daily quest and you need to kill the man's dogs. That's how I translate things in the game on RU that aren't translated by changing those two files. But yeah, I mean, you can do the same thing, honestly, like right here when you see chat down there. You can do the same thing. Screen snip that, Google Translate, paste from clipboard, that that clan, recruiting. Kind of gives you a pretty basic translation of what they're saying. It's not always 100% accurate. Sometimes some of the translation is a little off, but you can get the gist of what people are saying. 
But that's it for this video. I just wanted to put this up because I've had a lot of people ask me, how do I have my RU client in English for the most part? It's really hard to explain to them how to do that file swapping if I don't show you how to do it. So there that is. Do with that what you will. The devs have said they don't care if you change those two files to have English. I don't know of anyone who's been banned or punished for changing those two files. With that being said, don't go changing a bunch of other files because that may actually trigger their, their system to, to look at your account and possibly ban you. So don't go crazy trying to change a whole bunch of shit in their, in their files. But if this video helped you out, go ahead and drop a like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, I hope you guys have a good one and I will catch you in the next one. You guys take it easy.